Ooh, that little bass riff. As the son of a bassist, my ears perk up with bass a little better than most people. It's definitely a pleasure to hear that in a music video from one of my favorite K-pop groups of all time. Man, I want to be invited to twice prom. Heck, I never even went to prom in general, man. Ooh, this hook. For Twice's first full English title track, they have to hit it out of the park and show the US market who they are. This hook is definitely a strong one. Man, what are the odds that the J Trinity members and Chewie are gonna be the ones singing this hook for the rest of the song? Also, this set kinda reminds me of the Chanel house from Scream Queens, except everything is pink. Anyone still remember that show? And looking deeper, these all plaid outfits are just a chef's kiss. Aw, oh, poor Chaeyoung, she still can't wink. It's adorable how they included that little tidbit of her in here. I'm so curious. It wouldn't be a twice title track if Nayeon wasn't kickstarring the first verse. Definition of a lead vocal right here, present, pretty, and punctual. Interesting fashion choice to use arm warmers as a part of their outfit here. They're super comfortable depending on the material, but seeing how they're both on Nayeon and Momo makes me think this was a very conscious fashion decision. Yeah, I'm actually quite impressed that Twice is able to blend a more westernized pop sound with their signature concept. Not every music artist could pull this off, and it's sounding pretty good so far. Sana's little cute mannerisms are still peeking through, and their pronunciations aren't bad at all. It still very much sounds like a Twice song to me, and that's a really good thing. What a these lettering collage overlays hits differently for different people. Some call it cheesy, some call it visually appealing. Makes me think of the BTS We Are Bulletproof Part 2 music video way back in the day with a click click bang bang on screen lettering. For Twice's case, it actually really works with the concept. They get a letter invitation to the prom and it's very scrapbooky to include. <laughs> Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys, gals, and non-binary pals, I present to you a K-pop wins first. My ultimate bias of all time is on the screen. For that, immediate 24 points. Park ji -hyo is always a win, baby. I can't stop me. This is my series. Jokes aside though, her vocals here sound so fluttery yet so powerful at the same time. Her smile is so infectious and her styling here is S tier. Reminds me of Fancy Era Days or her outfit from the Yes or Yes photo cards. She is just so beautiful and the way she carries herself so confidently is just us. Uh, so attractive. I love her. Park Ji Hyo is always a win. Wow, even Dahyun's rap sections are still sounding very twice. The momentum is building up really strong so far. I know love it is such a funny thing. Ah, Miss Sharon, Miss Mina. Of course, of course she would have one of the most alluring lines of the song. And of course her English pronunciation is the best. For those of you newer TWICE fans, Mina was actually born in the US, but moved to Japan when she was still young. So it checks out. The more you know. I know I keep touching on this, but I am very impressed with the momentum of the song. Normally with full English tracks like these, the translations wouldn't carry over 100%, leading to some of the lyrics sounding a little awkward or not flowing right with the ears. But I am super pleased that's not the case with the feels. Twice's lyrics are flowing super well up to this point, and it's usually around the rap or toxing sections like this where it falls apart and starts to sound off. But no. Not at all here. Closest violators in the song would be the supernatural attraction and cuz I'm boom 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 from head to toe, but everything is flowing smoothly and it just gets the ears to perk up at the very least. Also, loving this little photography montage. There's always something so refreshing about these kind of shots even if it's super fast. It makes the music video feel that much more real, that much more authentic to me. Also Jungyeon, that's the win. and arguably one of the most catchiest choruses in all of modern K-pop. Of course, TikTok has a large role to play in this, but still. Even if it weren't for TikTok blasting the song to Kingdom Come, I think this song still would have hit the same popularity peak as it is right now. The moment you hear the you have stolen my heart, oh yeah, would be 
almost impossible to not break out into that little nail presenting hip isolation move set. This song has got to be the hardest song to resist in a try not to sing slash dance challenge. Ooh, I should probably write that down. Also, these outfits look very familiar. I feel like these outfits here are calling back to their debut days and cheer up, only with a little more bling. Would this be symbolic of how far TWICE have come since then? I'd like to think yes. TWICE really has come super far from when they first started off, and even if this wasn't an intentional callback and just a happy coincidence, I love it. Jihyo's high pony returns! God, Jihyo is a win! Also, I am just the biggest fan of her hairstyle right here. Gosh, Jihyo is just so gosh dang beautiful, and she can pull off almost any hairstyle JYP throws at her, especially the shorter shoulder length hair. Oh, I love her so much. <laughs> okay, sorry. Moving on. Yeah, I got all the also, things you didn't notice, look at Dahyun in the background. <laughs> I, I can't with this woman. What, what is she doing holding on to a plant with the stillest expression and then changing to glasses in the next frame like it's weekend at Birdie's? Like, how how could you not love her? And another thing you might have not noticed, Jungyeon tried to throw this pillow at Momo, but she missed. <laughs> Man, I just love these little details. Also, yep, I knew it. The moment that hook came in, Momo would be one of the members to sing the hook. I knew it! Yes, twice. Pet the Jihyo. Pet the leader. 10 out of 10, Graceful Sana. Initially, I didn't like this line. I don't know, I felt the I wanna be a boo part was a little off-putting. But Young has a way with her tonality of making it work for the character and timbre of the voice she has. Any average Joe or Sue saying this line, of course it would sound a little cringe, but Che, she makes it work. Well, okay, what are the odds that twice, that the Twice Girls had to retake this shot multiple times from the pure comedy that is the jazz hand section with Dahyun? Man, this has got to be the most fun looking Twice music video ever. Not just from a viewership standpoint, but Twice themselves too. They must have had a blast filming this. I know love it is such a funny thing. I, um, uh... I, I hey, hey Mina I just um can, can I say that you just look uh, wow you're you're just wow look Mina is my second bias of twice under Jihyo those of you who have been with the channel since 2016 you would know that by now but could you blame me like prom queen yes of course look how regal and royal she looks how could she not be prom queen like mina is hands down one of the most beautiful people on this earth and i'm not even saying that as a once she's actually super captivating not just with her looks but with her velvety voice as well goodness i love hearing her sing even if it's just for a few seconds you could count me in for those who voted her for prom queen. Oh, hi, Chaeyoung. What? This is twice prom? Man, look at this place. Decorated from floor to ceiling? This ain't even a high school gym. If this is how prom really is in real life, then boy, I missed out big time. But actually everybody in the room chiming in on the dance? I told y'all, no one could resist the power of the feels. But gosh, I just love this chorus. It's just the right amount of repetitiveness to be easy enough to sing along to, but also hits the best amount of catchiness to not be cliche or stereotypical. It's very twice, and I can't explain how I'm just so happy that this is Twice's first full English title track. And I am both so happy and so relieved that Twice hit it out of the park with the feels. This kind of serves as a strong sampler of what the rest of Twice's music is like. Ha! Sana! Another J Trinity member tasked with the hook! I told you guys! Mina, could you not please? Uh, you know I'm allergic to feelings. So what's your intention? <laughs> oh, well, I guess Mina really said no mercy to all the onces today then. Yeah, you, you, you.
Nayeon's high notes are seriously getting better and better. Now, I've always used Jihyo and Nayeon as examples of the difference between a main vocal and a lead vocal. Check out my K pop 2021 positions explained video up here. But the fact that Nayeon's vocal prowess is shining and improving more and more with each comeback, it's making that distinction all the more blurry. On one hand, I'm worried that I'm not able to use this distinction as an example anymore, but I'm even more happier that Nayeon is getting more chances to shine even if it means Jihyo has to lay off the high notes for a while. I love it when other members get to shine and this ain't an exception. Also, I love how seamless the transition between the climax group shot to Jungyeon is here. If you guys couldn't tell already, Jungyeon isn't in the group shot. Reason why? I can't say for sure. But the fact is, there's only 8 members in the group shot and twice is 9. But for some reason, Jungyeon still felt like a large part of the music video and I never felt that she was absent or left out of the music video until watching this over and over again. The way how the music video is stitched together and how it's filmed and edited is how you handle situations like these right. The summoning circle returns! And God Jihyo is always a win! Chaeyoung, you broke the J Trinity hook curse! Thank you! Initially, I thought Mina was going to take on the hook last, but Chaeyoung, baby Che, you broke the streak! Now, there's nothing wrong with a J Trinity having these type of lines. I just wish they had more of like Mina's divine lines in this comeback, especially Momo. Aha! The fourth tour is coming! What a way to tease the world tour. Was anyone able to snag any tickets? I still haven't seen twice since KCON LA 2018. Anyone want to help a brother out? Goodness, end credits? Man, I'm actually a real big fan of ending credits in music videos. It honestly makes the production feel that much more authentic to see the names of all who contributed to making this music video. Also, loving these little BTS shots here with a little camera audio mixed in there. What are the odds the director was just like, Okay girls, it's time for the solo dancing party shots, just be you and have fun. Loving how Jungyeon just kicked off her shoes and started shuffling. I keep saying it, because it's true. The Twice girls really look like they're having the time of their lives in this music video and it just brings a smile to my face. The Feels, Twice's first full English track. Man, I gotta say, 9.5 out of 10. It's almost the perfect Twice song. It encapsulates everything Twice is about and gives a taste of what their songs have to offer. For those who are willing, it gives them just enough for them to be like, wow, that was really good. What other songs do they have? I honestly feel that Twice's entry into the US market has been handled superbly in terms of the music side, the K-pop side of things. When English versions of K-pop songs are dropped, or even when K-pop artists make English music, it rarely hits right the first time. With the feels though, even if Twice adopted a little bit more of the Western pop sound, it's not too far from their original source music and you can still tell it's Twice. I'm nowhere close to saying Twice should just stick to Korean releases, or yeah, their Korean songs are better anyway. Honestly, to each their own. But with the feels, I feel like I can really be proud of considering this as part of Twice's discography that I really enjoy. I'm really glad that this song resonated with me and so many others and that it landed so well among fans. And look, getting real here, you don't have to like everything your bias group releases. If you enjoy it, you enjoy it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. And that's okay. I'll be the first to admit that Alcohol Free is among the twice songs that I didn't enjoy. And that Scientist is still in the process of growing on me. I actually still prefer the feels over scientist. The fact that I have this take, or that fact that you may have a differing take, is what makes us human. And that's totally okay. I don't know. I feel the need to say that, especially with how polarizing the topic of K-pop groups in the US market is these days. Just wanted to remind everyone to be kind and understanding to each other. We all have different tastes in music, and no one's liking or disliking of a comeback should affect your enjoyment of it. 
But before I spiral any further, some final critiques on Twice as the Feels. I really wish Chewie had a more prominent role in this song. I really missed her in this music video and wish she could have been showcased as much as Mina at the very least. But ending on a positive note, I loved how Jungyeon's presence never felt diminished even if she wasn't in some of the group shots. It takes an active eagle eye to point out that she wasn't there for the whole music video and that's good. Shows that the music video was stitched and edited together superbly. The outfits, I really love the plaid for the room shots and all of their prom dresses. I can comfortably say this to all those who are seeing Twice for the first time through the feels, that this is Twice. This is what you guys are missing out on. How could we help you all learn more about our girls? We'd love to help you get to know them and their music better. But everyone, as always, now is the perfect time to join the Energetic Nation today. Did you guys know that less than 2% of you all watching are subscribed? For you 98%, who are you people? Go ahead and hit the like and the subscribe button and ring the bell icon to make sure you're not missing a thing and to become part of the energetic nation today. What other music video should be next in the K-pop wins train? But with that everyone, that's my time. My name is Nathan, SYJ official, and until then, see you guys next time. Bye.